I left Iran in 1981. In fact, two years after the revolution happened. And I never ever in my life, I could believe that such a rapid and enormous change can happen so suddenly. It became unbearable. They told us what to wear, what to say, what to do. No freedom anymore for everybody, especially as a Jewish woman, it was worse. I, I couldn't feel secure anymore. The Jews of Iran are Iran's oldest religious minority. There, for over 2,500 years, their safety and prosperity fluctuated according to the reigning religious faith. The Safavid dynasty, established in the beginning of the 16th century, officially declared Iran a Shiite Muslim country. The ruling Shiite government was inhospitable to Jews and considered them religiously impure or najis. A low point was reached when all the Jews in the northern city of Mashhad were forced to convert to Islam. During the 19th century, under the Qajar dynasty, religious minorities by law were considered second-class citizens and had to pay a tax for not being Muslim. By the mid-19th century, living conditions for the Jews of Iran had become deplorable. European Jewry took note of this and through coercion of the Qajar king, Nasser Din Shah, managed to bring French-run schools known as Alliance to Iran's Jews. Within one generation, Alliance effectively succeeded in raising their standard of living to that of their Muslim countrymen. By the 20th century, Jews were leaving their ghettos and were living amongst Muslims in prominent neighborhoods. With the rise of the Pahlavi dynasty, massive industrialization of the country began. An emphasis on building a modern and civil society created a non-religious atmosphere. For Iran's Jews, this proved beneficial both socially and economically. In 1979, the ruling Pahlavi monarchy, long allied with the U.S. and the West, was violently replaced by an Islamic Republic. The turmoil of the revolution and its Islamic outcome made Iran's religious minorities, the Jews, Baha'is, Zoroastrians, and Christians, fear religious persecution. Over half of Iran's 80,000 Jews decided to leave their Persian homeland. For those who left, a 2,500-year-old history came to a close. The move of non-Muslim minorities out of Iran is really a disservice to Iran itself, the Jews of Iran. They feared persecution because from the beginning of the revolution, the anti-Jewish sentiment was very strong among the revolutionaries. There was a direct connection made between the state of Israel and the Jews of Iran. And this was really something that concerned them a great deal. As a Jew, I was scared because I didn't know what's going to happen to the Jews in the future. At that time, Khomeini used to say that the minority, the religious minorities, are the same. We, we treat them the same. But you never could trust them. 